All right, good morning, my lovers. I'm MJ, I'm the founder of All to Love. I like to show up and do these readings for you guys just to, uh, as a way to get to know you. I really got into a habit back in 2019, pioneering the online brand and had loads of fun doing it. And the times I've tried to stop, I just can't. I enjoy it so much. Uh, even making the bloopers and, you know, there's a certain amount of vulnerability, let's be real, about putting ourselves out there into the world. And people have often said to me, like, well, you know, what do you do to promote your brand? I'm like, I show up almost every single day on the internet and one, share the passion for tarot, which is one of the services I provide, but two, speak from my heart. Like genuine high vibratories, it's all about love. Um, you know, love. Uh, I can tell you guys this little story of a man named Brady. <laughs> Do you guys remember the Brady Bunch? <laughs> um. So, oh, guess what? I got a trampoline, a little mini one. My neighbor was like, "You teach yoga. You don't need to do more exercise." I'm like, "Well." I could probably move my legs a little more and I haven't been walking lately normally like I walk every day and I just have been like a sloth I you know do this but straight up you guys if I did a vlog of the real deal like some days what I'm doing you would just be like wowzers MJ's so boring <laughs> it's like mm-hmm boring just normal human over here. I remember watching some comedy sketch and they were like, God, humans were just disgusting. I'm like, oh my God, I really res with that. <laughs> and like, we're, there's, we're nonsensical, mysterious, uh, violent, and at the same time, like beautiful and poignant and like wowzers, fuck, you know, like this life, it's cool, right? You're like, shut up and just read the cards, woman. If you're that thinking inclined, you're probably not here. So if you're here, what, what, high five. Give me a high five. Give yourself a high five. Give yourself a hug. Go hug your children. <laughs> I'm in a weird mood today, huh? Somebody on the YouTube channel was like, what, what, this is my attack, crazy, hippie, spiritual chaos. <laughs> I'm like, Sounds right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, uh, I am gonna read for you. I've pulled a few cards, you guys. I'm an intuitive reader. That's why, I mean, any of this esoteric stuff, I would say you've got to res. Even when I teach yoga meditation, I still, to this day, will say to people, shop around. You know, none of this, none of this, like, so-called spiritual stuff is one size fits all like you're you and all of these tools yoga breath work meditation tarot crystals sound healing like all of this is um yeah tools for us to connect n n there's no one thing outside of us that's the thing you know it's not written in a book it's like you in your mind and in your heart, loving your essence of who you are. I, part of the reason I started speaking on the internet and I, I mean, I, but even as and when I was speaking on the internet, I was actually doing talks. So I was like teaching yoga, hala shazam loads, sort of like living, paying for stuff through the yoga teaching. And I started doing, I think once a week or once a month, like talks about law of attraction and stuff like that. I was well into it. So I got used to speaking about all this stuff and I don't know where I was going to go with that, but it felt critical at the moment. Um, well, I guess, I guess, oh yeah, because I drive a lot and I'm a traveler gypsy type and it would just so happen that these moments of driving, I would be like getting these downloads and be like, oh my God, if I could just spit this out and share some of this juice, like everyone would be like oh my god MJ <laughs> it didn't happen I did I know I do I speak for my I do I speak I try to translate the truth that comes from within me but it doesn't work 
and everyone shut up you stupid woman <laughs> oh my god five minutes in haven't even read any of these cards but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get busy like holy shit you're like are you drunk are you hungover are you stoned are you hot no i just woke up had a coffee and it's a holiday shazam had vibratory it's the 29th of december do something about that i don't know you're nothing you're not gonna do anything about it so i okay so let's get serious you guys stop joking around mj you guys just remember this i'm just alone in my bedroom talking to my phone like imagine an alien or like even a creature looking at that being like what is the human doing there's nobody around. i know it's weird sometimes what okie dokie <laughs> let's get physical physical rest in peace olivia newton john okay so I am Perseverse, the world card. There's some major shift happening. Um, Eight of Swords, there... I feel like you've probably been working hard to calm the mind. I don't think that's been easy for you, but you've... Like I was just talking about, maybe you've been doing some extra meditation. Maybe you've been journaling. Maybe you've been getting help from somebody. But there's like, Eight of Swords Reverse would be like a liberation point. Like, oh my god, I can finally see that thing that was blocking me. If even it was just a way I was thinking about that thing. And, th and then you're like, oh my god finally and I, I feel like part of the turn you're making is quite internal bearing in mind these are daily shares right so we're getting a pretty quick snapshot of an energetic uh you know pulse or what have you um i'm gonna get a bit of a for some of you i would say if you're not wanting to get preggers be mindful the empress in this deck has like a straight up baby in her womb so that is making me think of pregnancy, but she's in the reverse, so it makes me think of an unwanted pregnancy. So I'm just saying be mindful, especially it's the season of a lot of substance abuse, which can sometimes lead to things like, uh, you know, hala hala. Oh, I... Actually, I think this is a little bit... Uh, more significant for some of you. I I feel like there's a situation that you might have an opportunity to take the high road. Most of you, I think, are dealing with other women in your life. Oh, <gasps> you guys. I am person devil reverse. Six of wands taking the high road. Whether it's a work situation social situation <gasps> do you know what i'm really getting a sense of this looks i almost want to cry or rage <laughs> this looks like somebody just talking a dirty dirty <laughs> sorry i <laughs> yes, yesterday i actually put a short on the youtube channel of me <laughs> i don't i <clears throat> but <laughs> in all seriousness <laughs> I, this is mean girl. This is where, this is what I'm trying to get to. And it's not that funny when it happens to you, but this is mean girl energy. Sorry to say. Oh, this, this feels so clearly mean girl energy because it's devil and empress. It's like one mean girl getting together with another mean girl being like, how mean can we be? And you're all like, <laughs> like your world in the upright and six of wands. So, ooh, actually, this is a fundamental shift. I think you're seeing something really clearly. And you're going to fly out of there, take the high road, and be like, what? This is my world. <laughs> Don't be messing. That is gorgeous. I do like it. 
Yeah, wait until you know. As in, don't don't presume, don't make assumptions. This is something you're gonna know about, okay? You're gonna get the information you need. You're gonna see something really clearly and it's, <clears throat> it's gonna be good when it all comes out because you're definitely gonna come in on the wings of success because you took the high road in this situation. This is obviously a worky, businessy, maybe familial and or social circle, right? But these two girls, the, and these are power players, FYI. These are like, you know, the, what, you know, that movie and there, there's like the main girl. I don't, but like one of these is like the main girl. And the other one maybe is tagging along or wanting to get in there with the, the main girl. So, but you, your energy, holding space for it, seeing it clearly for what it is, not engaging, take the high road, you fly into levels of success you've never seen before. I don't know about that, but, uh. Yeah, don't engage with these certain people and or if you're seeing something, wait, wait until you see something super dupes clearly and then bounce out of there. I think some other people might see it too because this is a major uh, shift for you and I want to say it's a paradigm shift because for some of you, these are the types of peeps that you maybe you've been dealing with for a while or like most of your life or something. All right, we're going to leave her there. Hala, 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 hala. I am in such a weird mood, but I don't care because what is life? Nobody knows. <laughs> and like, this is the thing about love and acceptance. You got to just love the whole thing. You know, I, I know. And that's the hard, hard bit is like, ooh, but I don't like this bit. And I don't like that. And I, okay. Anyway, bye. Bye. Have a great day, guys. If you made it to the end, high five. Again, high five. High five. <laughs>